Good afternoon and welcome. Actually, I hear some music or something. Hold on a sec. One okay. minute. Okay. Perfect. Um, uh, good afternoon and welcome to the select board meeting for uh, March 1st, 2021. It's 5.33 and we're calling the meeting to order. With me today are, um, my name's Melinda Collins and with me today are uh, board members, Arthur Doyle, Michael Zulis, Richard Wells by phone, and um, Katie Conlon, and also our town administrator, Michael Dunhey, and our executive administrative assistant, Hillary Wheat. And thank you to MATV for broadcasting us. Um, <clears throat> On March 12, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, which enable us to use um, a platform such as Zoom in order to have our meetings, um, not in public or in person, I should say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Information on how to access these meetings is on our meeting notice, and you can either participate by phone or by computer. And these are also recorded and uh, live streamed at the same time on the MATV uh, website and also on uh, television. And the channels are, are on our meeting notice. <clears throat> so thank you again for joining us. Um, our first two items have to do with energy aggregation and these will be deferred um, we were waiting on an approval of documents from the Department of Public Utilities and they had a few additional changes that they wanted made. So those changes will flow into the electric service agreements and we'll have to reschedule a meeting probably next Monday. Uh, I, I, so it might be good at this point to ask if members could make time on Monday for, for this. That's um, March 8th. <clears throat> what time were you thinking, Madam Chair? Um, Mr. Dennehy, did you want to say something? Uh, just, just to follow up on you, what you had said before you answer the Vice Chair's uh, question. So the, the, the energy aggregation bid was to be opened, yes, tomorrow morning, March 2nd. Uh, due, due to the unforeseen circumstances, uh, they're going to push that bid out one week to March 9th, uh, necessitating this agenda item to take place next Monday night. Um, would would 5.30 work for people next Monday? It would? Yes. Okay. Mr. Dennehy, that, I think you too, or you didn't, you didn't say no. Okay, great. Um, Richard, would that work for you? Okay, I'm going to assume that it will because you didn't say no. Um, <clears throat> okay. I see he's, he's muted, Madam Chair. I don't, uh, maybe, he, maybe he probably knows. Yes, Madam Chair, oh. I was. You're right, Michael. I'm okay. Oh. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, okay, so, uh, so that moves us down to item four. And um, it, I just thought that we might want to start putting together the letter for 648 Canton Avenue because it's um, it's starting up again this Wednesday. But um, I, I did get some uh, some comments from Mr. Zulis that I can um, work into a, a new draft. And uh, I'm sure other people ha would like uh, to be able to contribute to that as well. So I don't, I don't know if you'd just like to forward those to me and I can put them, I can combine them all or if, if we'd like to have a little chat about this now. <clears throat> Happy to take comments and, and just keep track of them. Yes. Ms. Colin. Madam Chair, um, so I only took a quick look at it this afternoon because I, I just didn't have a lot of time, unfortunately, this afternoon. But I, um, I think we should incorporate some of the details of our comments from the PEL letter such as the water issues that were raised by a lot of residents on Gulliver Street. Um, the, the traffic issues, I think we should lay them out rather than just attaching our PEL letter. I think we can okay. still do that. 
Um, so I would need a little more time for this. And I also didn't think it was um, time sensitive since this hearing, I know they had the opening session, but this is really getting underway shortly. And, and uh, so I think there's gonna be some time for us to get our comments in. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think the ZBA needs them right at the beginning of the process. Um, right, I think a lot of these uh, we, we don't need in the beginning. I think for me that, oh, Mr. Doyle, please. Go ahead, I was just going to say, I haven't had time to review either, but I, I would like to do so and uh, uh, focus on the traffic issues. Uh, much of what applied to um, the recent letter that we put forward uh, for 652 would apply to 648. Mm -hmm. So I, I think my, the one thing that I, I guess I'm wondering if we would want to just send along is, is the feeling that these are separate projects that need to be looked at on their own merits. Um, but uh, it, it may be that that's not something that we need to, to address right away. Mr. Zoulis. So, so I think you'll, uh, from my comments were really about um, maintaining some, the consistency with what we sent to mass housing on 652 mm -hmm. in saying, Look, this was this was a an effort by the developer to manipulate the process to try to get separate approvals from one massive process, one massive project. However, given where the zoning board of appeals is, they need to look at this just this product mm -hmm. project because they don't have the other one in front of them. So I thought it was a good point that was in the letter to say, look, um, you you shouldn't make a decision on six forty eight. Um, thinking about 652, if 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 um, just to just to make things easier for 652, right? You got to look at 648 because that's all it's in front. Of, that's all it's in front of you now. Uh, even though what the developers are really trying to do is is to get this whole whole thing pushed through. So that that was the essence of my my comment. Mm -hmm. And and that that's one reason that I didn't. I think it's a very good idea to 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 pass on those details, especially the ones that that um, neighbors really are, are extremely concerned about uh, to make sure that attention that 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 they know our attention is also on those things um, or, or was during the PL process. But but I just I guess my big concern was to make sure that um, it, it is looked at um, as a separate project um, in their deliberations, which you know, maybe we could say it probably will be, but I just thought it was important to say. Um, uh, yes, Ms. Conlin. Madam Chair, you know, maybe we could consider submitting two separate letters. If we think that that particular issue was important to flag right up front, I, I'd be open to us sending a letter just on that point. But for the letter that's going to address all the specifics of 648, I think we need a little more time to go through this draft and and, and build it in. So, um, I mean, the good news is we have a very experienced chair, Brian Hurley, who's chairing the 648 Canton Ave process and who knows a lot about these issues. So, um, so if we want to weigh in on it, I think that's fine. Maybe we do it separately so we can get that in earlier and then build out our common letter. Because I, I think a lot of these peer reviews are in process for 648 Canton as well as for the other projects. So we may want to get some additional comments from our own department heads and look at the peer reviews before we weigh in with our letter on the substantive issues of 648 rather than the, the, the two project issue. Mm -hmm. That's a thought. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Zulis, were you going to say something? I, I think that's an interesting point. Just to, you know, just, yeah. just to say, look, as an initial matter, we just want to point out X, Y, you know, that this is, this is what the developer is trying to do. And, um, you know, this board, the zoning board needs to focus on just 648 at this point, because that's all that's in front of them without considering 652, despite what the developer is trying to do. That might be, that might make sense uh, for the purpose of, um, of an initial letter. Uh, I hadn't thought of that, but maybe, maybe right. that makes right. sense. I, I agree with that approach. And I mean, we do say in, a, in the last line of our, our stock sort of um, form is, is that we reserve the right to provide further comments. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I if, um, if perhaps, I, I, I don't know if people would feel comfortable um, with maybe Mr. Zulis and myself finishing up this uh since he, he was the one who sent comments on that piece, 
finishing it up and sending it on, or if we'd like to, <clears throat> if we'd like to maybe revisit it next Monday. Um, I'm fine with that, Madam Chair, if that's what you'd like to do, the two of these want to fish. Because to, to me, um, as long as you, everyone's, and it's, you can tell from the comments, everyone's aware of the nexus between the two. I, I'm fine with that, if that's what you want to do. Does that work for other people? Yeah, I guess I just wonder what the time sensitivity is. You know, is it enough to act on it on Monday night so that we're we're seeing it and approving it, or do we need to get it in sooner? And I, they're meeting Wednesday night. And I don't. I haven't looked to see what the rest of their schedules. I know they changed the dates right. on a lot of these recently. Right. I, I think. I think this is. I, I mean, if I if I understand, I think this will probably come up first, um, because this is very much on the minds of the neighborhood, as we've heard from. Um, Mr. Corcoran. So th I, I think that's why I, as I said, I, I kind of focused the letter there because I was concerned that they would take that up first. And as I said, we, we know that, that Mr. Hurley is extremely experienced um, and we, we might be able to make an educated guess about what he might do. But I also feel um, that since it's our custom to uh, provide a feedback from the PEL process that, that, that this is, this is something that, that we might want to do sooner rather than later. Um, so, or, um, I'm sure Mr. Dennehy has his hand up. Yes, Mr. Dennehy. Uh, so I'm looking at the schedule now. It's a very robust schedule. Tomorrow night, they'll yeah. hear 582 Blue Hill Ave. Thursday night, uh, 48547 Blue Hills Parkway. 648 Canton Ave is scheduled for uh, Tuesday, March 9th, oh, Thursday, March 11th, okay. Tuesday, March 16th, and that's as far as I can see right now. Oh, so okay. You March 9th, March 11th, March 16th. I hadn't updated my calendar, so thank you. That's really helpful, Mr. Dennehy. So, so next week would be fine. Um, we might uh, even be able to, to get all the comments together. Um, by then, so. But Madam, Ms. I mean, I'd be fine with you and Mr. Zulis taking the, the laboring or on writing this draft. It might even make sense to attach the PEL letter to that letter, but then to submit a more detailed right. letter at a later right. date. And I think by then we'll have the benefit of the peer review. Okay, very good. Um, then then that's what we'll we'll do. And um, Mike, I'll 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 work on it, and then you can just. Keep, give it a glance and um, cause I know you're busy. Um, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> at this time, I uh, move to enter executive session pursuant to MGL chapter uh, 30A section 21 subsection A subsection six to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property, as I believe that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the select board. Specifically with regard to 432 Adams Street and 525 Adams Street. And we will not come back to open session to adjourn. Second. Thank you. Um, uh, wait a minute before we, before we take the vote, I just want to make sure while we're in open session, I, so Mike and I will work on the letter, but we'll come back since we're meeting next week, we'll come back and look at it together. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. Th thank you. Just making sure. Um, okay. All those in favor, Ms. Conlon. Yes. Mr. Doyle. Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Zulis? Yes. Ms. Collins? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for those who attended and who are watching.